Are you looking for the best TV brands? In this video we will look at some of the 7 best TV brands on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Vizio LED The best Vizio TV we've tested is the Vizio LED 2020. Like other LEDs, its ability to turn pixels off individually results in a near-infinite contrast ratio and perfect, inky blacks in a dark room, with no distracting blooming around bright objects or subtitles. It's not as advanced as newer LEDs from LG, Samsung, or Sony, though, so it doesn't get as bright, and bright highlights in HDR don't stand out as well. It has a few extra features for gamers, like VRR and 4K at 120Hz support. However, as it doesn't properly display 4K at 120Hz signals in game mode, it's not as good for gamers as the other models. Like all Vizio TVs, its smart features are limited and you can't add new streaming channels. Fortunately, it has an extremely wide viewing angle, which is great for wide seating areas since the image remains consistent if you're watching from the side or moving around your room with the TV on. Sadly, the brand's release schedule has slowed, and they no longer release many models. As a result, their models are now older, and most of them are hard to find. Their LED is rare now so you might have to get lucky on a new one or go for a refurbished model. Vizio is mostly inactive, but they do release new models from time to time. In 2023, they released the Vizio Quantum Pro Colette, which is much cheaper but significantly worse than the OLED. However, it's currently the best widely available Vizio option. The Vizio M series Quantum X 2022 is still available but is a bit worse than the Quantum Pro Clet except in dark rooms, as it has better contrast and black uniformity. Number 2. Roku Plus Series Clet The best Roku TV we've tested is the Roku Plus Series Clet. Overall, it's a decent TV with excellent contrast and an acceptable local dimming feature that helps improve the appearance of dark scenes. It has an amazing color gamut in HDR, although its color volume is limited by the TV's adequate but unexceptional HDR peak brightness. Still, the TV looks vibrant enough for a pleasant HDR viewing experience. It gets bright enough to make some highlights stand out and tracks the PQE off properly ensuring HDR content is displayed as the creator intended. Its reflection handling is good, so it's capable enough in a bright room, although it's at its best when the lights are dimmed. It supports Dolby Vision HDR and HDR10+, so content looks its best regardless of the source. Unfortunately, the TV's image processing is poor. So make sure you watch high quality 4K content to get the best out of this TV. Overall, this TV is light on features. It has no motion features to help reduce stutter or persistence blur. It doesn't pass through advanced DTS audio formats, although it can pass through basic DTS 5.1 through ARC. It only removes 24p judder from external 24Hz sources like DVD or Blu-ray players. As for gaming, its refresh rate is limited to 60Hz, and it doesn't support VRR. Still, its input lag is extremely low, and its response time is great, so it's still a very good gaming TV if you don't care about advanced features. Roku has one other TV, the cheaper Roku Select series. The Select is very similar to the Plus, except it doesn't have a local dimming feature and is dimmer overall. Still, the cheaper Roku is available in a wide variety of sizes and is sold at an alluring price point, making it one of the best cheap TVs on the market. Number 3. Hisense Ux The Hisense Ux is the best Hisense TV we've tested. It delivers incredible picture quality overall in both bright and dark rooms. It has fantastic contrast and a mini LED local dimming feature resulting in very deep blacks with almost no noticeable blooming around bright areas of the screen. HDR content looks amazing, thanks to its high peak brightness and wide color gamut, and it tracks the content creator's intent decently well, although most content is a bit too bright. The TV has subpar native HDR gradient handling, 
but its gradient smoothing feature does a great job of cleaning up the banding. It's truly one of the best LED TVs on the market, as it should be, considering its high price point. It's a limited release for Hisense, so it's not as widely available as Hisense's other models and is only available in an 85-inch size in North America. It's a versatile TV with a wide selection of extra features. It supports up to 4K at 120Hz on two of its HDMI ports, so it's fully compatible with the latest consoles or PC graphics cards. It has low input lag and an excellent response time for a responsive and clear gaming experience. It also supports every VRR technology, which helps reduce screen tearing in games. Finally, it runs the Google TV interface, with a massive selection of streaming apps and hands-free voice control thanks to the TV's built-in mic. The Ux is a standout, but most people are better off with the much cheaper and nearly as good Hisense U8 slash U8K, in fact, the U8K has a newer chipset than the UX, giving it better capabilities in some aspects, like being capable of 4K at 144Hz on its 2 HDMI 2.1 port, and Dolby Vision Gaming at 120Hz. Otherwise, the Hisense U7K is also a great TV and is a bit cheaper than the U8K, so it's worth considering if you want to save a buck. Number 4. TCL QM8-QM850G Clet The best TCL TV we've tested is the TCL QM8-QM850G Clet. It's a great TV with amazing SDR peak brightness and fantastic reflection handling so it easily overcomes glare and bright lights from even the brightest of rooms. Its HDR brightness is equally as impressive, so bright highlights really pop in HDR content. The TV has an excellent local dimming feature, giving it superb contrast and black uniformity with minimal blooming, making it a great choice for dark room viewing. Its quantum dot technology also gives it an impressively wide color gamut for HDR content, although it doesn't have very accurate color reproduction. It's also over-brightened in HDR, which means it's not the best option for people who care about accuracy in their TVs. The TV has a few quirks, like its refresh rate functioning in brackets and its inability to have both game mode and chroma 4 to 4 colon 4 simultaneously, but it's still a tremendous performer. It runs the popular Google TV OS, which is very smooth and easy to use, with a wide variety of available apps. The TV is incredible for PC and console gaming, as it can output up to 4K at 144Hz or 1080p at 240Hz on its first HDMI port and up to 4K at 120Hz on its second. It also has an excellent response time and low input lag in game mode. If you like the QM8 but prefer something cheaper, the TCL Q7-Q750G Clet has all the same traits, features, and quirks. It's not nearly as bright, but it's still bright enough for an enjoyable viewing experience. Number 5. LG G3 OLED The best LG TV we've tested is the LG G3 OLED. It's an impressive TV that delivers fantastic picture quality with stunning dark scene performance thanks to its near-infinite contrast ratio and perfect black uniformity. It delivers a visually stunning HDR experience, especially if you're in a dark room, and its unique, modern design means it looks amazing even when it's off. It also has a fantastic array of gaming features, including 4K at 120Hz support on its 4 HDMI 2.1 port, support for every VRR technology, and Dolby Vision Gaming at 120Hz, so it's fully compatible with the latest consoles or PC graphics cards. Plus, its nearly instantaneous response time and extremely low input lag results in clear motion with no distracting motion blur. It's one of the brightest LEDs on the market and one of the sleekest looking TVs you can buy, as it's completely flat without any bulging on its back, and it doesn't come with a stand. It's meant to be wall-mounted. The LG TV supports DTS audio formats and Dolby Vision HDR, and it has good image processing, making it a great choice for a home theater TV. However, 
it does come at a hefty price premium. If you don't want to pay top dollar for it, then the LG C3 OLED is a cheaper alternative that delivers performance that is closer to the G3 than you'd think, especially when watching real content versus test patterns and it has all of the same features as its more expensive sibling. For an even cheaper option, LG also has the mid-range LG B3 OLED. It's dimmer than the C3 but has an almost identical set of features, making it a great entry point into the OLED market. Number 6. Samsung S95C OLED The best Samsung TV we've tested is the Samsung S95C OLED. It's a very impressive TV that delivers fantastic picture quality. It has the same perfect inky blacks in a dark room as OLEDs with world panels, like the LG G3 OLED, with no blooming or distracting hallowing around bright objects. It also has great peak brightness in HDR, so bright highlights stand out well and it tracks the creator's intent properly. It stands out thanks to its incredibly bright colors, resulting in a much more vibrant, realistic HDR experience. Unlike high-end TVs from Sony and LG, it doesn't support Dolby Vision HDR or DTS audio formats and has only decent image processing but it makes up for it with more vibrant colors than LG TVs and is better for gaming than Sony TVs. This TV officially supports 4K at 144Hz on all four of its HDMI ports, which is great for PC gamers wanting to push their new graphics card to its limits. Of course, it can easily handle recent 120Hz enabled consoles with support for every variable refresh rate, VRR, technology. If you don't usually watch TV in a darker room, the benefits of an OLED panel aren't as apparent, so an OLED TV like the Samsung QN95 c is a slightly better choice. There's a bit more blooming in dark scenes, but it gets significantly brighter than the S95C, which helps it counter more glare. The Samsung QN90C slash QN90C d is almost as good as the QN95C but for a lower price so that's also an option. Or, if you want a high-end OLED but want to save some money, look at the Samsung S90C OLED. It's almost as bright as the S95C but is much cheaper. Number 7. Sony A95L OLED The best Sony TV on the market is the Sony A95L OLED. It's very similar to the Samsung S95C OLED, as it features the same impressive QD OLED panel that delivers incredibly deep, inky blacks and bright, vibrant colors that stand out well. It features the amazing processing capabilities that Sony is known for, so it's a great choice for movie lovers looking for the absolute best TV for a basement home theater setup. It's also a great TV for gaming, with a nearly instantaneous response time and very low input lag that results in a very responsive experience although its input lag is higher than competing models from other manufacturers. As amazing as this TV is, it's expensive and only worth it for home theater enthusiasts wanting the best movie watching experience. If you want a Sony OLED for Sony's processing capabilities but don't necessarily want to pay for the premium price tag of this model, Look up the dimmer but cheaper Sony A80L slash A80CL OLED. The A80L uses a world panel, so it isn't nearly as colorful as this TV. However, it still has Sony's legendary processing capabilities. If you don't care as much about dark room performance, Sony also makes some impressive LED models, like the Sony X95L or Sony X93L slash X93CL, which are amazing for bright rooms. The X95L, in particular, is the best overall LED TV on the market, but unfortunately, it's only available in an 85-inch size in North America.